role that the arts and the humanities play at Lake Washington Institute of Technologies is really two, maybe even threefold. The first is that we have a large design school on campus with both our MMDP program, our bachelor program, the BTAD, and then our engineering graphics and our, and our other graphics programs on campus. Because the design programs at their core have the elements and the principles of design at their foundation, those come directly from the visual arts. So right then and there, I think it makes sense for a strong design school to have a strong visual arts department. Straight fine arts courses are about two years old now, and so there's been a significant change. I would say that the students I have in painting and in printmaking and in the intro classes, like intro to drawing, we are seeing more culinary students, we are seeing more medical and dental students, people who traditionally were maybe told or advised to take a oral communications or a public speaking type class, and those are great classes, we offer those here, but maybe the ability to interact with visual learning styles, maybe somebody who's in a medical program but engages with the visual learning style, this is where they can help maybe find that outlet and find that creativity. My favorite part of this class is all the creativity you get to have. Um, there's not a whole lot of like set rules. He lets us, he tells us what we have to do, but we get to take it in our own way. We're a workforce school, and so all of our, our classes and our programs are directly geared towards workforce and applied learning. We're different from a traditional liberal arts sort of community college in that maybe you could get an AA level degree in the visual arts. Here we have a strong visual arts, a strong humanities component, we have strong English and math and all the academic core is really strong. And those feed directly into our technical applied program. I chose to come to Lake Washington because I wanted less of a degree and more knowledge in the field that I'm going towards and more applicable knowledge in the area. I looked at the University of Washington and they give more of a degree and lots of theory but not hands-on training. The fun part about it is that he doesn't micromanage things so we can just walk into the art studio and start painting and everything's really relaxed and that way you can just create and have time to kind of release. When they get finished, by the end of the quarter they should be able to draw something that's representational. Putting the two things basically together, my love of making things with my love for teaching how to make things. And so it, it's like my life's passion. I've been drawing since I was little bitty and everything I've ever done has been in my entire life has been directed toward art so it's just I don't know it makes me makes me pump. So to understand color to understand aesthetics to understand the elements and the principles of design I think it applies all over this campus.